You've proven yourself willing to help those in need, even without the promise of compensation. I hesitate to ask more of you, but just between us, I can see that these events have shaken Mistress Stroffer. She could use your help. Let me get a better look at you. Hmm. Your eyes are wrong, but your palms seem clean enough. I have a task for you. If you succeed, you'll earn the favor of a Telvanni counselor and a treasure from my vault. Is this agreeable? In all my long years, the thought of death has rarely troubled me. But thanks to Savarak, I've gained new perspective. My illness took me to the brink of the void, the tip of the scythe. Someday I may welcome death. But for now, steps must be taken. I find that people lead much happier lives when they don't trouble themselves with details. Now, Vardenfell is littered with Daedric shrines. Seven of these shrines contain powerful, magic stones. You must find these stones and bring them to me. The task I've set before you won't be easy. These shrines lie near and far. Some are little more than piles of brickwork, while others extend deep underground. Even so, I'm confident you'll find what I'm looking for. The Stones of Cold Fire. So you're a scholar as well. I certainly wouldn't have predicted that. Before the Tribunal showed up, we Dunmer worshipped the Daedra. They raised no small amount of havoc, but they also left us valuable gifts. Gifts like the stones. Nothing until they rest side by side. If a mage manages to wake all seven, well, let's just say their powers of persuasion are put to the test. Of course not. Why should I be? The powers of Oblivion hold no great mysteries for mages like me, and House Telvanni has no time for folklore and childish superstitions. What's the point of power left unclaimed? Plans? No, of course not. I'll leave them to their business just as I always have. I'm sure they did. You'd like an explanation, wouldn't you? Fine. You want to earn people's love. Here's the secret. Just leave them alone. Treat them like adults, even when they act like children. The rest takes care of itself. Yes. Believe me, it's a rare and wonderful thing to live under the protection of a disinterested ruler. Self-determination. It'll be all the rage in a millennium or two, I guarantee it. Now... Are we finished? I need those stones. She can be cut, but trust when I say we need Mistress Droffer, and not only for the sake of Voss and Telmora. Despite her temper, my mistress truly seeks the best for Vardenfell. She cares too much, as the cliché goes. Just help her, please.
Looks like the Daedra certainly put you through your paces. How did you fare? Do you have the stones I asked for? Good. My dear Lane chooses her allies well. I'll prepare the stones, but one other task remains. You might be equal to the challenge. I must call on a particularly shrewd Dremora named Zykanaz. He refuses all summons, so we'll have to use less pleasant means of negotiation. I'll send you to his home plane. Go there, weaken him, and I'll draw you both back to Nern. Surely an adventurer of your stature isn't frightened of a single Dremora. Summoning Daedra is no more dangerous than taming bears, and even the dull-witted orcs can do that. It's quite safe. I'll send it away as soon as our business is concluded. I hope you'll keep those deliberations brief. I'm opening the path now. When you stand ready to face Zykonaz, simply enter the portal. And don't worry, I'll make sure you have a way back on the other side. I always keep my promises. The ritual allows me to speak to you through the veil so keep your mind open when you reach the other side, or as open as you can manage. More Molag Kanashanta, Del Norgandra, Abagayanye. It's done. Trounce that unruly Dramora, and the reward I promised is yours. I hear the rattling of chains. You've arrived. Strike down, Zykonaz, then hurry back to the portal. The witch's servant, eh? Your soul is forfeit, summoner. His will is spent. Quickly return to Telmora. Well done. Hmm. I envy your youth. I might have found some way to rob or deceive a weakened benefactor, but not you. It's just on to the next adventure. Vibrance and integrity. What a curious combination. Spare me your incredulity, Outlander. Not a word I told you was a lie. I simply didn't care to divulge all that I could have. Truly, it's baffling you didn't suspect this from the start. Why else summon a Daedra if not to make a bargain? I truly fail to see how it is any of your concern, but I suppose you have done me a favor. To put it simply, I need more time. I don't do this out of vanity. An ancient threat looms at the edge of my sight. I must remain until it is dealt with. That would be your opinion, wouldn't it? My path is clear. A Daedric Pact may seem a grim choice, but I'm prepared for the consequences. Now, you adventurers love trinkets and gold, yes? I trust this will suffice. 
Farewell. I shall begin the summoning immediately. Lane, be ready. Zykonaz, Duke of Black Covenants, appear. By the seven stones of your Dark Prince, you will parley with me. Hmm. Dratha, come to treat with another of Baal's servants? You will pay for this. Silence, Daedra. Bend and heed my words. I demand immortality. Name your price. Yes, price. There is no gift without cost, which I will grant your wish. But know this, you will live in endless fear, for on a day of my master's choosing, I will come in the guise of a mortal man to claim your withered soul for Cold Harbor. There you will face an eternity of anguish and drown forever in an icy sea of shame. Tell me, Scion of Azura, do you accept my terms? I accept. The covenant is made. Be seen, you Magister. Your actions have ensured the safety and prosperity of Telmora for years to come. Quite an accomplishment for a wiry youth. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have preparations to make. Many, many preparations. You've served me well, but you overstep. This pact is deeply personal, and I will not be second-guessed. Nothing is more precious than time. The more precious the gift, the higher the price. Ha! <laughs> Ask me again in a few hundred years. Risk is the price of any worthwhile endeavor. A vigorous adventurer like you should know that already. The trick is managing that risk. And no one navigates danger better than a Telvanni master. I know what you're thinking. I'm not exactly pleased either, but Mr. Strother insisted this was the only way. I'm sorry if you feel I wasn't honest with you, but either way, I owe you my thanks once again. You need to understand, Mr. Strother is a wise woman. She knows exactly the horrors she has agreed to. This choice was made not for herself, but for the greater good. I didn't wish to betray you, but I trust her actions in this matter. It's a danger that is long to come. I know very little, but I believe neither you nor I will ever see it in our lifetimes. If it's enough to accept the tortures of Cold Harbor, I'm thankful I will never live to see it. <laughs>